Today we're bringing caramel, apples, and buttery oats together for a yummy handheld treat. To make these sweet, buttery, and crunchy caramel apple bars, we go from the bottom up. Start by coating the pan with cooking spray and lining it with parchment paper all the way up on both sides. Then, in a large mixing bowl, combine instant oats, flour, granulated sugar, light brown sugar, cinnamon, and salt. Mix that together really well, breaking up any lumps of sugar you might come across. Add in about half of the softened butter and mix it in as well as possible. You'll likely find that your hands are your best tool. And it'll still feel quite dry at this point, so add a few more tablespoons of butter and mix that in. You may need even more butter depending on how dry the ingredients are. Once it crumbles well and holds when pressed to the side of the bowl, it's good to go. Now pour about two thirds of the mixture into the prepared baking pan and press it evenly into the bottom. Once again, your hands are probably your best tool. Pop that into the oven for 15 minutes, reserving the remaining oat crumble for the topping. And on to the filling, which only takes five simple ingredients. Begin by peeling, coring, and cutting your apples as evenly as possible so that they cook evenly. Transfer the apples to a large frying pan and sprinkle with cornstarch and cinnamon and stir to combine them well. Turn the heat on to medium low and as the apples warm and release their natural juices, the cornstarch will thicken it and the cinnamon will add flavor. Stir from time to time to prevent sticking. And while the apples are cooking, combine the caramels and butter in a microwavable bowl and heat for a minute or so until the caramels soften enough to combine with the butter easily when stirred with a spoon. Then pour the caramel mixture into the pan with the apples and stir it to combine well, and again from time to time, while this reduces and thickens. In case you were wondering, if we skip the step of cooking the apples down, too much moisture would be released during the baking process and the crust would be soggy and we'd end up with this. A yummy, scoopable apple crumble that couldn't be cut into bars. And of course I know this because I tried it. So once the filling has reduced like this, pour it into the pre-baked crust and spread it evenly from side to side. Sprinkle the remaining oat crumble on top and back in the oven it goes. As enticing as it is, resist the urge to dig in right after it comes out of the oven. Once it cools completely, it will easily lift right out of the pan. Then cut it into squares and enjoy those delicious layers of crispy oat crust, tender apples coated in buttery caramel and crumbly topping. For this classic combo of caramel and apples, you don't even need a fork, but if you wanted a scoop of ice cream on top, then I'd suggest a spoon. You can find this recipe for caramel apple bars and many more recipes at homewithshay.com. Shay Ryan, ABC Action News.